The Styles Clash requires that the opponent pushes out their chin as they come crashing down, but there was one problem. Ellsworth has no chin. Before this video begins, we wanted to quickly address why it's been quite a while since we last uploaded. Did you miss me? You can find the answer to that as well as the future plans for this channel by heading over to our Twitter, at Fact5Wrestling, where we have a pinned tweet explaining everything, or by heading over to the community section of our YouTube channel. With that said, we hope you enjoy the video. While Baron Corbin may not be a modern-day wrestling god, as he proclaims, You can't polish a turd. I tried. He's one of the safest workers in the WWE. This was evident at Money in the Bank 2016, when in doing so, slipped, prompting Corbin to lunge towards him and catch him. Corbin is the fact that Corbin was relatively inexperienced at that point, having only joined the main roster just two and a half months prior. Following the tragic passing of Brody Lee, Mustafa Ali posted a tweet revealing that Brody Lee once saved him from a broken neck. He was referring to the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale at WrestleMania 35, where the two of them were involved in a dangerous spot. As Luke Harper, which he was known as in the WWE, lifted Mustafa Ali up in a suplex position, Braun Strowman booted Harper to eliminate them both. Harper never let go of Ali as they both were sent crashing down, which saved Ali from a broken neck, or worse. It's a moment Ali can no doubt remain positive, Ali, for years to come, minus the face plant into the table. Hashtag be positive. Ryback is not the most popular wrestler among his peers, namely CM Punk. I don't even know if I want to cover the Ryback stuff. That took 20 years off my fucking life. <laughs> being an unsafe worker because of things like this. Gorilla press through a table, fucking misses the table. But to Ryback's credit, he showcased great strength and ring awareness in a match with Kalisto at Payback 2016, ultimately saving Kalisto's life. The high-flying luchador, Kalisto, botched a corkscrew plancher, which would have seen him land head-first on the apron. The hardest part of the ring, by the way. But luckily for him, Ryback reacted quickly to the situation, and caught Kalisto in the nick of time before things got real ugly. In 2016, James Ellsworth took on then WWE Champion AJ Styles in a match with Dean Ambrose as special guest referee. For his life. Better keep going. But there was one moment in particular that stood out, that being the finish to the match. AJ Styles' finishing move, the Styles Clash, is one that, when executed correctly, looks phenomenal. However, the Styles Clash requires that the opponent pushes out their chin as they come crashing down. But there was one problem. Ellsworth has no chin. You're a pretty weird looking guy, you know that? Instead, Ellsworth did the opposite and tucked in his non-existent chin, but thanks to Styles' veteran instincts, he realized this and collapsed to his knees, thus saving Ellsworth from serious calamity. At the 2023 Royal Rumble, Kevin Owens took on the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, for the undisputed Universal Championship. One risky spot in the match saw Owens botch a jumping moonsault, which could have been very costly. 
As Owen slipped, Reigns exhibited tremendous in-ring IQ by rolling towards the ropes to break Owens' fall, thus preventing Owens from potentially breaking his neck, or worse. Owens has endured a lot of bumps over the years, but this could have easily become his last.